So, Professor Farg, what can we say about the Syrians that are attempting to cross into Europe? Well, first, uh, first of all, the number. There are uh, around 100,000 Syrians now uh, in Europe who entered after the refugee crisis, so they are refugees. Uh, there are two ways for them to join the European Union. The first one is arriving at the border of Europe, mm -hmm. arriving at the external border of Europe, and then claiming asylum. An estimated 100,000 of them did that. They put an asylum claim in Europe, and uh, most probably that claim will receive a positive decision. They will obtain either a refugee status or subsidiary protection. Most of these people go to or apply for asylum in two European countries, two out of 28. Mm -hmm. And these two countries are Germany and Sweden, with each of them more than 30,000 uh, claims lodged, uh, lodged in the last uh, two years. Uh, it is also interesting to mention Bulgaria, Bulgaria which is the first country uh, that a Syrian uh, migrating from Syria will reach by land in Europe. Bulgaria received 6,000 uh, claims for asylum, which is significant. By contrast, Italy, for example. Italy, which is the first country you will reach when you arrive by sea. By contrast, Italy uh, received only 1,600 uh, claims. Uh, more, uh, even more so, is the situation of Greece, with only 85 mm -hmm. uh, claims lodged in Greece. It means that people arriving in Italy or Greece are not uh, putting their claim in Italy or Greece. They are putting their claims in other countries, in particular in Germany or in, in Sweden. Uh, that is uh, the first uh, possibility. The second possibility is resettlement. If you want to be resettled when you are a refugee, you can do it from outside the territory of the European Union. You do not need to reach the external border of the European Union, mm -hmm. and you do it from the first country of asylum that you reached, example, Lebanon. Uh, there, the uh, UN Refugee Agency will select uh, those who are uh, eligible for resettlement and those who are not, and the country of resettlement will make the final decision. Mm -hmm. Until now, 30,000 Syrians obtained uh, resettlement or will obtain resettlement because it's a pledge of the states, and the very vast majority of them in Europe, and again in uh, two countries, and in particular in Germany. Other people uh, cannot do it. Other people cannot do it, and they will try other ways. For example, uh, if you are a Syrian asylum seeker, uh, you first reached Jordan, and then you were unable to find employment in Jordan. You then crossed to Egypt, and in Egypt the same story happens. You are not able to find a job in Egypt, then you will continue the journey. And you will end up in Libya or in Tunisia trying to reach Europe by sea. The number of Syrian refugees smuggled by sea, mainly to Italy, has been booming in the last uh, months, in particular, let us say, since uh, the, the, the beginning of this year. And it is estimated uh, by Frontex that today um, some more than 15,000 Syrians try to, uh, to reach Europe by sea. Of course, uh, sea smuggling is not acceptable in particular because it represents extremely high risks, mm -hmm. high risks of dying during the journey. Um, we can uh, be extremely thankful to Italy for the Mare Nostrum uh, operation that has rescued until now, we don't know how many Syrians, but something like 10,000 at least Syrians uh, among uh, some 50,000 people trying to reach uh, Italy through the Mediterranean. But will it continue? We don't know.